Good day, my dear students. For today's video, we're going to tackle about modular arithmetic. So first, what is the modular arithmetic? So in modular arithmetic, numbers wrap around. Upon reaching a given fixed quantity, this given quantity is known as the modulus to leave a remainder. So that is according to brilliant work year 2023. Modular arithmetic is often tied to prime numbers, for instance, in Wilson's theorem, Lucas' theorem, and Helson's lemma, and generally appears in fields like cryptography, computer science, and computer algebra. Again, that is according to Brigant or year 2023. Now, saan nga ba ginagamit ang modular arithmetic? And ano nga ba yung concept nito in relation to other number theory concepts? So, an intuitive usage of modular arithmetic is with a 12-hour clock. So, actually, yung clock natin, it is an application of modular arithmetic. If it is 10 o'clock now, then in 5 hours, the clock will show 3 o'clock instead of 15 o'clock. 3 is the remainder of 5 with modulus of 12. So, ito po, direct application po ito ng mod 12 arithmetic ang clock po natin. Pero paano naman po kapag mod 5 po yung nasa problem? So usually po, ba nagbibilang tayo ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Pero dito po sa mod 5, kapag naubos na po natin itong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ito pong 6, ang gagawin niya po is 6 divided by 5, kung ano po yung remainder, yun po yung magiging sagot dito. So, babalik po uli siya sa 1. So, 7 divided by 5, that is 1. Pero, may remainder po siyang 2. Yung remainder po, yun po yung kinukuha nitong mod. So, ibig sabihin, pabalik-balik lang po siya sa 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, a number x is equal to b mod n, x mod n is equivalent of asking for the remainder of x when divided by n. So, katulad nga po ng explain ko na po kanina. So, to further understand this concept, let's have other examples. First, 25 mod 2. This is just like saying, if we divide 25 by 2, what will be the remainder? So, we have here, 25 divided by 2, that is 12. Pero my remainder pa siyang 1. So we have here, 2 times 12 plus 1 is equal to 25. Pero ang hinahanap po kasi ng modulo is the remainder only. Therefore, ang answer po natin dito is 1 lang. So here naman po, 43 mod 36. This is just like saying also that if we divide 43 by 36, what will be the remainder? So we have here 36 times 1 because 43 divided by 6, that is only 1, pero may remainder pa siyang 7. So, plus 7. Ano pong hinahanap ng modulo? Yes, you are correct. That is only the remainder. So, meaning to say, ang answer natin dito is 7 only. So, 55 mod 9, that is just like saying 55 divided by 9, then what will be the remainder? So, that will give us 9 times 6, that will give us 54, plus 1 is equal to 55. Pero ang hinahanap po again ng modulo is the remainder. So meaning to say, 1 din po ang sagot natin dito. Now, negative mod 8. So we this is just like saying, negative 1 divided by 8, then what will be the remainder? So we have here, 8 times, ano pong pwede natin i-multiply? 0 plus negative 1 in order for us to get the negative 1 here. So, our answer will be negative 1. However, meron po bang remainder na negative 1? Nagkaka-remainder po ba tayo na negative 1? So, technically, hindi po, ba? So, ang gagawin po natin para maging positive po sa negative 1 is to add 8. Because, according to our definition a while ago, modular arithmetic is just wrapping up numbers. So, ibig sabihin, pag wrap up natin to, that is also equal to 7. So that is also equal to 7. And now we have here negative 56 mod 22. So that is also equal to 22. Ano daw po yung 
imumultiply natin kay 22 para umabot kay negative 56. Yes, the quotient must be negative also. Pero kailangan medyo sumobra siya kay 56 kasi nga po si remainder must be always positive according also to the division algorithm. So ibig sabihin, ito pwede natin tong gawin as negative 3 because 22 times negative 3 that is negative 66 plus 10 in order for it to be negative 56. So since si 10 po, siya po ang remainder, meaning to say this is the value of negative 56 mod 22. So we have here 10. Actually, may shortcut din po dito para kung naguguluhan po kayo dito sa um, process na to. So the shortcut here is negative 56, magu-continuous addition ka lang po. So plus 22, that will give us negative 34. Plus 22, that will give us negative 12. Plus 22, that will give us 10. So ibig sabihin, 10 po yung sagot. So kung makikita nyo, this is just the same po. Since ito po, medyo formal lang po siyang tignan because this is following the division algorithm po in number theory at ito po, yung parang sa logic lang po siya. Now let's have this number 6. Negative 28 mod 54, kaparehas po siya ng number 4. So we will have 54 times 0 plus negative 28. Pero since wala nga pong negative na remainder, meaning to say, i-wrap up natin siya. So that will give us negative 28 plus 54, which will give us 26. So ibig sabihin, negative 28 mod 54 is equal to 26. Now to our last number, we have negative 22 mod 7. Ibig sabihin po, katulad siya ng kung ano yung ginawa natin sa number 5. So we have here 7 times ano pong number ang pwede natin i-multiply kay 7 para ma-cover up niya si negative 22. So kung negative 3 po siya, hindi niya po covered si negative 22. So ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin po natin dito is si 4. So we will have negative 4, that is 28, plus ano pong number para umabot siya kay negative 22. You are correct, plus 6, which will give us, ano po yung remainder natin, that is only 6. So 6 is our answer. Now kung gagamitin po natin yung process na ipinakita ko po sa inyo, so that will give us 22, plus 7, that is negative 15. Negative 15, Plus 7, that is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 7, that is negative 1. And negative 1 plus 7, that is 6. So kung makikita nyo, the same lang po siya. We have here 6 and 6. So kahit ano pong method yung feeling nyo, mas comfortable kayo, pwede nyo po yung gamitin as long as mag-arrive kayo sa the same answer. So that's it for today, my dear students. If you still have questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. If you find this video helpful to your number theory subject, please like and subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you next time. Bye!